Ciao, ciao, ciao. So then, turn, Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on the 8th Gym. And we brought us our 8th Gym badge. And today, we're going up onto Route 223. Hey, so that we can go to the Pokemon League. That is where we are going today. I don't know if we'll make it all the way to the Pokemon League today. Especially with, you know... The surf speed in uh, Sinnoh. But we'll try. We'll try and make it a decent way through the Pokemon. We'll make it a decent way through Victory Road. That is what we're going to do today. In our first few minutes. And then the next episode we'll finish off Victory Road. And we'll make our start. We'll start making the preparations for the Pokemon League. And then after that we'll actually be facing the Pokemon League. I'm not going to be facing the Pokemon League today or... You know, even getting to anywhere what would be near the Pokemon League today. I have realized I have no repels. I should buy some repels. Before we leave Sandy, uh, Sunny Shore City, I should buy repels. Yeah, before leaving Sunny Shore City, I should buy repels. Just in case. But I'm going to be in a situation where I'm going to need them. Every one in the team is pretty good levels. Where's my repels? I know they're in this bag. So I got four regular repels. Okay, I'll put them to the front of the bag. There's my 25 super repels. Okay. I'll put them there. And then we have one max repel, which is here. And I'll put that there. There we go. Okay. Now we head to the Pokemon League. Now we head to the Pokemon League. We'll be fine now. We got our repels. We're fine now. Lanoon uh, learnt Surf in the last episode. Uh, so I didn't have to burden... Uh, uh, I didn't uh, have a burden Chin Chow with it. So that's why uh, Lanoon now knows Surf. I was trying to avoid trainers, but I think I might have to face one or two. You're an executor. I mean, I'm okay, because I've got Blaze Kick, but kind of annoying. Um, you go there. So, on the day I'm recording this, I have started... I've started a diet and exercise plan. I'm not sure how well it's going to go. I'm not... I don't like exercise. I'm not an exercise... I'm not an exercise guy. I'm not that kind of guy who likes exercise. I'm actually the exact opposite. I do like food and... I'm a fat... I'm proud... I'm not saying I'm proud of being a fat guy. I'm never going to be proud. I don't think anyone should be proud of being fat. But I'm okay. I, I've i made my peace with being fat. That's what it is. I've made my peace with it. I'm not proud of it. But I've made my peace with it. And I'm okay with... I'm okay with it. I mean, I come from a, a family of fat people. My dad was... Uh, my dad was fat. Uh... And sadly, it might, I think it might have been the thing that killed him in the end, really, because he, uh, although he did drink a lot too, so, who, you know, he did, he does many things that killed my dad. There were many things. Things, he drank a lot, he, uh, he was, he, he was fat, but, like, it all worked out for him, because my dad was, uh, my dad was kind of, well, my dad was once the town crier of my town, my hometown. So, you know, it sort of, uh, you sort of, when you're a town crier, you sort of have to have a voice that bellows. So it sometimes actually helped for him to be a fat, uh, it helps to be fat when you're, you want a, ve a bellowing voice. So, 
so sometimes it helped but th that's not important the main thing i'm trying to get to it is that i am starting a diet and exercise plan and i've never done that i haven't done that in a good long while i'm not someone who's going to join the gym or anything like especially in this sit especially in the situation the world's in with the ongoing global situation it would be a very bad idea for me to join a gym right now so i'm not going to do that also i could never afford that so i'm not going to what I'm going to do instead is do some home exercising. I have uh, ways that I can do home exercising. I can do sit-ups at home. I have I have ways that I can do sit-ups. Uh, so I do row. Uh, so I'm doing about I'm doing about 24, 25 of those in a session. Uh, and I'm doing and then I'm going to do uh, some other things. Like I'm going to uh, so like I'm going to crouch down low without bending my back. And then bring myself back up using uh, bring myself back up again, and use uh, and uh, how I'm going to stop myself from bending you know from bending my knees is basically I'm going to be using a restraining bar so I don't bend my back, uh, bringing myself back up, uh, bringing myself up. So that's one that's another thing I am doing for this uh, exercise plan challenge that I uh, this exercise challenge I'm doing. It's weird, but I think it's going to work. And then I've also got my... Uh, I've borrowed my mum's... Uh, I've borrowed my mum's stepper. So that's a thing I'm also using for this exercise thing. I've borrowed my mum's... Uh, I've had my mum's stepper underneath my bed for ages. And I've never actually... I've never been... you. Why did I go into you? I was too busy speeding up. I was too busy talking to you guys and speeding up and realised that there was an aardvark on the pitch. That's what it was. Yeah, I'm also going to be doing that as well and doing like 10 to 15, uh, 10 to 15 minutes on that to sort of end my exercise routine uh, every uh, twice a day, every day. And then I'm also going to be uh, sort of eating more properly you know i'm gonna have more veg in my diet and i'm also gonna maybe cut back on the ch uh, well i'm going to like stop chocolate full stop i'm not gonna be eating any more chocolate no more chocolate for the lantern jam so no more chocolate i'm not like i'm gonna stop eating chocolate i'm gonna stop drinking all my fatty drinks and stuff like that i'm gonna try and li uh, to limit myself to stuff it's not shiny, Joe. It looks shiny. It's not... Wait, is it? It didn't do the ting. No, it's not shiny. It's not shiny. Okay. It just... It kind of looks shiny, but, like, it's also not... It looks like shiny magnezone, but it didn't do the ting, so... I'm pretty sure it's not shiny magnezone. The question is, what do I do to weaken you? Shadow Ball? It works. It is very much working. This is very much working. This Shadow Ball plan is very much working right now. Three. Magnazone. Victory Road Encounter. And I have one more encounter I can get in this series. Which is the Pokemon League itself. Because you can get encounters for the Pokemon League itself. So, I'm going to call you... See, I have two names for Magnazone. I, uh, so, Magneton, I used, uh, from Red and Blue, I used to call all of my Magnazones Super Shock. But I've also, also, uh, but I also once had a Magnazone in my, uh, in a draft league. And I called it PlayStation in there. So, both of those names really mean a lot to me. I'm going to call you Super Shock. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call you Super Shock. I like the nickname Super Shock for Magnazone. That's what I'm going to do. So, Super Shock is the nickname I am going with. But, like, PlayStation is also a nickname that I use for Magnazone. There you go. Super Shock. Yeah, so we have one more encounter we can get. Which is the Pokemon League itself. I 
and then and then we are done for encounters in uh, we are done for encounters in the Pokemon League uh, in this in Diamond, and we'll be start and eventually somewhere down the road we'll be starting on brand new series. Our Pokemon Soul Silver Metroid Lock. I'm looking. I'm looking really forward to this series. I am honestly looking really forward to this series. I hope you guys are too. So hopefully everything should go well with the Metroid Lock. But I was actually talking about my diet. Uh, my diet plans. So yeah, I've told you about what I'm doing for exercise. I told you I'm also going to be walking to. I'm going to be walking to my mum's like two to three times a week as well. Uh, to sort of help out with the exercises so after i've done my morning after i've done my morning exercises i'm uh sometimes i might walk to my mum's as well uh when i do that uh as part of that exercise plan and when i uh that's about a half an hour walk from where i live uh via uh via the route i take which is uh through using a canal so uh, well using a pavement that's near uh, that is on the other side uh, there is a canal nearby i'm not actually going in the canal itself i will admit that's not happening but uh yeah that is the plan to walk uh, to walk the canal to my mum's which is about which is on the same path as the uh well it's sort of on the canal as my mum's and then and that's a, like a 30 minute walk so that should be pretty good for me i think i think uh that should if I do all that for a couple months, everything should be fine, and I should uh, I should probably lose quite a bit of weight. I'm I'm not I don't really have like a target weight or a goal that I'm planning really for this. I just want to get back into some sort of exercise, so that people stop calling me a burden to the NHS. That's all it is. I just don't want to be called a burden to the NHS because I'm uh, because I'm fat. I like I like food, yes. But I don't want to be called a burden to the NHS. That's all it is. I want to be. I want to be nice and uh, do uh, my fi and do the right thing. So I'm learning, and I'm going to try this and see if it works. And eventually, down the line, I may be able to do some of the goals that I've been wanting to do for a while now, which is basically, for example, I have to. I can stop buying. I can stop buying jeans online. Because I hate buying jeans. I like buying jeans. I wear I wear jeans a lot because I just kind of like jeans. But I don't like buying jeans. Uh, when I buy jeans at this moment in time, because of my weight, I'm buying jeans online. I have to instead of going to a shop and trying on pairs of jeans. I know that you can't try on things in this uh, in these uh, in these times. I am aware of the fact you cannot. Uh, trying on things is a bad idea in these times. I am aware of this. Don't worry. I am aware of the fact that trying on things in these times in the ongoing global situation is a bad idea. But when I do, uh, but when we are not in these, uh, when we are not in the bad times, memes. But there will be a time when we're not in the bad times. Really, I, I need rock smash. I don't want to teach rock smash to. Mm -hmm. I need Rock Smash. I don't want to teach Rock Smash to one of my team, but I feel like I'm going to have to uh, to get through this place. Can I reteach him? Oh, I really, I would really love to be able to reteach a move in order to get my Rock Smash back, but I don't have the ability to do that. Because like the only moves I I need things who can learn rock smash okay quite a few people can learn rock smash but i like having double kick on i like having double kick i like having all my moves is there anyone that can burden Do you still have Fury Cutter cuts? You have Signal Beam. I like Signal Beam. Even though I haven't got a chance to use it yet. I like you. I like your moveset. I like everyone's movesets. The only person moveset I don't really like is Robber. But Robber has sort of been bur 
robber is burdened with all the HMs anyway. Yeah, robber's sort of burdened with all the HMs anyway. And robber's... Uh, I guess I could get rid of Slash. I don't use it, so I can guess I could get rid of Slash. I really feel sorry about the fact that I can keep on burning Robber with uh, HMs. If the game didn't require so many... If, if, if Sido didn't require so many HMs, I wouldn't need to burden Robber with HMs. I really wouldn't need to do that. But I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to burden Robber with HMs. And I feel sorry about it. I really do. I like Robber. I like Lanoon. And Lanoon's... This Lanoon has been here for a while now, but the fact is, basically, like, it's... It's just been a HM slave for a while now, too. And I've never really give it the opportunity to actually, uh, like, well, work. Oh, soft sand. Nice. Okay. I mean, I was thinking there was something back there. I wasn't sure what exactly, but I was thinking there'd be something back there. Okay. And then I need to... I need Robber to use strength. And push these... Strength rocks about. Then I don't know what to do here. Oh, I think I, I think I know what I need to do. Okay, so I need to face you. Push that strength rock down underneath me. A wheezing coming in. What the hell? I, I guess? Wishmaker? Yeah. And then an apom. Okay. Double kick. There we go. Okay, so I push that down. Be very careful. Come round, smash the rock, and then push it back up. There we go. I pushed it up again too far, but like I don't really care because it doesn't mean it. Just means I can't come back on myself, but that's fine. I wasn't planning on. It. Well, at least not this way, anyway. What do you have for me, Nido King? Oh, oh. What the hell do I do to a Nido Piggy? Yeah, Piggy. Alakazam. Criminal? I don't like the fact he just calm minded. Please stop calm minding. Or at least or at least keep calm minding because you're an idiot and decided not to actually try and do so. Oh. Okay, so that's not how you get it through there. That's fine. What do you have for me? You have a Nido Queen. Well, Piggy is my solution for this. There we go. Pig uh, Kickstarts level 58. Piggy's level 55. Infernape. Criminal? You are my solution for this. I don't like close combat. Ow, ow, ow. Would you not? He got a crit. Ow! He got a crit! Energy root. 
Use on lantern. I'm fine. I have energy. I have these energy roots. I'm fine. But I would prefer if people stop critting me. Because that almost could have one shot me, and I was scared. And I don't want to lose my lantern. I, I've had a lantern for so long that I don't want to lose him. He's my mascot. Come on, guys. I, I love lanterns so much that I, I just don't want to lose him. That's all it is. I really don't want to lose my lantern. If I lose my lantern, I'm going to be annoyed. Because it's my mascot. What do you have for me? Your Pokemon no karate. I mean... I could see how your Pokemon could know Karate. That would be helped. I could see where you would learn Karate. If you have a Gallade. Really? Fine. I mean, eventually I... Eventually I will kill you. Really annoying is uh, your Gallade with Protect Spamming. It doesn't... It didn't help you one bit. It just made you quite annoying. Bow you. See, I, I think I remember how to get through this place. Don't ask me how I'm remembering this, but I am. Okay, and an Illini. I mean, I could just stay in. Just need to change my move from uh, Ice Punch to Blaze Kick, and I'm pretty much fine. And then up here. Ah, screw it, I'm gonna face you. What do you have for me? Bastille Don! Okay, two blaze kicks kicks your ass. I'm okay with this. I mean, I could have gone for the, I could have gone for a double kick too. That probably would have kicked your ass. But I wasn't sure because double kicks power. Can I get to the item? Like if I go down this waterfall. Yeah, that's how I get to the item. Oh, TM23 healing wish. That's awful. Why would I want that? I'm not teaching that to anyone because it's awful. Let's battle you then. You have a Machamp. What the hell do I do against this? Wishmaker? Oh, you do. That does way too much damage to you, Wishmaker. That does way more. But Zen Headbutt does... Zen Headbutt can kill. Okay. I just needed to stop being so scared of how much damage it was... Be, how much damage I was being done. Because I knew I could... I think I could... I knew I could live one. I knew I could live. So I just needed to stop being so scared. That's what that was. There's another item back here. Across this lake. No. Okay. Nothing across the lake. That's fine. Is there an item back here? Yes, there is. I found a firestone. I found... I have found so many Firestones. I could have so many Vulpexes or Arcanines right now, but I don't have any of those things. And then this is how you get to the... Um, the after game. Like, there's uh, there's an after game cave through here with uh, Marley, I think her name is. And basically that leads to... No, is it... It leads to... Where you get, uh, where there's a mischievous for shaman, I think it is. 
Let me size you up. You're going to have to be tougher. Uh, you'll meet many, many more Pokemon. That's what uh, you should be thinking. Eventually, your world will grow bigger to you. All right. When that day comes, I will talk to you again. But that day is not today. Today, today is to face this old man. Electrode. I take that. I take Swift too. AQ down. Nice. Milk tank. I could double kick this. And it should do a lot of damage. Does not kill though. I'm fine with you captivating me. I'm a physical attacker. Sky uppercut. Now I'm going to start killing things. To hell with double kick. I have sky uppercut. What the hell's coming in? A let. Oh. Should have gone back into Piggy. Yeah, you can't discharge Piggy. There we go. Maybe I can get through Victory Road today. Because I've literally just got through Victory Road. I've literally just done it. This is the last train of Victory Road. Executor. Blaze Kick. Gold Duck. Criminal. Coming for the Discharge. Wow, you live. I'm not okay with that. If I had Thunderbolt, you wouldn't have lived. But I don't have Thunderbolt. Metagross. Oh my god, what do I do against you? I mean, that's a good plan. Yeah, heat wave. Just double heat wave with Wishmaker. That's my plan. That's a plan. Wishmaker wants the... No, no, no. No, I don't need future sight. This is not a yes lock. I don't have to learn this. I don't need it. And I don't want it. No, I said I don't want it. I gotta stop pressing A. Don't... Uh, no, no, no. Oh. God damn it, Joe. I said don't give up. Keep old moves. Give up. There we go. That was why was that so hard to figure out what how to do that? We're here with the Pokemon League, ladies and gentlemen. Up the waterfall. And let's get my encounter. Well, we have to wait until my repel runs out, obviously. Eventually, my repel will run out. Eventually, my repel will... There we go. Now, my encounter for the Pokemon League is a... Glalie! Okay. Dish, uh, no, 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 no. Thunder Wave. There we go. Now, the question is, how do I injure you without killing you? Okay, I can waterfall, apparently. There we go, Glalie. And I have a nickname for Galaylee. This is more of a nickname for Mega Galaylee, but uh, this is my nickname for Galaylees. Lockjaw. There we go. We have Lockjaw the Galaylee. And. 
We are here at the Pokemon League. I have to be very careful and not go too far in because I'll accidentally reactivate the wife, uh, the rival battle whilst I still need to heal. And I still actually want, I do want to activate the rival battle, but you know, I don't want to do it. I just didn't want to do it before healing. Your Pokemon are so calm, even though they're about to go all again. Uh, they're about to go against the Elite Four. I like how they're so loose and relaxed. Thank you. I think. There you are, Barry. Uh, there you are, Chips. Hold it! Don't go off without me. You're going to challenge the Pokemon League, aren't you? Well, that's why I'm here too. Let's see who is more worthy of challenging the League with a battle. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our last rival battle of the game. Chips with his full team. And me with mine. He starts with a shift tree, level 53. And I'm starting with... I'm starting with Kickstart, my Blaziken. Level 59. He's nasty plotting, which is kind of annoying, but... Uh, I don't really know what his plans are. But one swift blaze kick should kill. Right? Yeah, one swift blaze kick should kill. Okay. What else do you have for me? Slowbro. Cuts. Come in here and leaf blade this thing. One to two leaf blades should kill you. I don't... Actually, you're only a level lower than me. So you might be able to live too. We'll see. We will actually see how much of you can live of this. Okay, yeah, he can live one. At least he can live one. Amnesia, that boosts your special defense. You might heal. Or not. I was thinking you might heal, but you decided it, you decided not to heal. I'm glad I went to the cuts and not criminal, because criminal wouldn't have been able to deal with that. Okay, so Jirach, um, Jinx coming in now. I'm going to go into Jirachi and I'm going to Heat Wave. Because that's a better plan than going to Kickstart, because this thing, it, well, it's Jinx's Ice Psychic type. I could have gone to kickstart and blaze kick, but I think the better plan is to go into Wishmaker and Heat Wave. Because it would do the exact same amount of damage. It's super effective, but I don't want to go into something that's, uh, you know, kickstart is weak to. Avalanche. I resist that, right? Yeah. That does nothing to me. I'm fine. And another Heat Wave should kill. There we go. This has been rather easy. Famous last words. Okay, that's three of his Pokemon down. Electivire. Well, that we know we know exactly who to go into. That's Piggy's domain. Because Piggy's been doing that for a while now. Piggy has been earthquaking Electivires for a while now. And Piggy is... Been doing really well, Earthquaking Electivirus. Don't like the screech, but I should work. I should one-shot you with uh, with Earthquake, so I can get the hell out of here and not deal with the screech. Hopefully, we'll see that. He's got two left after this. If we want, if we beat him, yeah. Okay. And Meganium. This is his ace. This is his starter. I'm going to go into Kickstart. And go Blaze Kick it. He might be beefy enough to live one. He's Meganium. So Meganium's... You know, I know Nutmeg can be beefy. So 
Especially if he's one level uh, underneath me, which he is. Okay. Does that do enough damage? It does. I got a crit. I will take. I might. He might not have lived if I got a, if I didn't get a crit. But I don't know. We'll never know. We'll never know if he might have lived if I didn't get that crit. And your final one is a Drapion. Piggy. I had to think about that for a sec there, but like Piggy is supply. I know it can learn dangerous moves against me, but I should be okay. And I have Earthquake, so that should be enough. Crunch, I should live that. I should live that. Yeah, I live that. With the cur uh, with the uh, screech up, I don't know if I would have been able to live it. I really don't know if I would have been uh, would have been able to live it with the screech up. So. And this earthquake should kill. It does not kill. Why? Why did you put up toxic spikes? I wasn't going to switch. I was just going to EQ you again. You could have crunched me. It might have hurt. I might have got my defense lowered. There are so many things you could have done there. But you didn't do any of them. You just put up toxic spikes for no reason at all. I wasn't planning on switching. You're an idiot, Chips. What just went down? You're telling me my team needs ra raising? I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Darn it. You watch, though. I'm going to get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League. Because I'm going to become the league champion, the toughest trainer. Joanne, you better not lose to anyone before me. I'm going to try not to. Let me confirm you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. So let us examine uh, the gym badges you have gained from Sinnoh. Orberg's Coal Badge. Eterna's Forest Badge. Veilstone's Copper ba Co Cobble Badge. Pastoria's Fen Badge. Heart Home's Relic Badge, Cantalave's Mine Badge, Slowpoint's Icicle Badge, and Sandy Shore's Beacon Badge. Very well. You are a trainer who have completed the Gym League Challenge by collecting all the Gym Badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate that power that you have brought with you here today and go for glory. I will, but I will do that in the next episode of our Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the next episode, we start our ascent on the Elite Four. We'll take on the first two trainers in the Elite Four, and then in that next episode, we'll take on the next two trainers and the champion in the finale. Uh, actually, no, the next two trainers, then the champion. So we got about three episodes, uh, two to three episodes of this series. Depends on how well the Elite Four uh, deals with me. I will be grinding to the ch uh, to deal with the champion. I'm not grinding to deal with the Elite. I don't grind to deal with the Elite Four. I grind to deal with the champion. That is my plan. That's how I work these things. Now, the question is, before I end off today's episode, is I need, I now need to know what levels I need to go to for the Elite Four. So let me load up... No. Let me load up Pokemon DB. Okay, Diamond and Pearl. Uh, gym Leaders in Elite Four. Okay, so Aaron start... Aaron's Ace is level 57. Bertha's Ace is 59. Flint's ace is 61. Uh, Lucian's ace is 63. And Cynthia's Garchomp is 66. Okay. Hey, we are also working under a 10% modifier. So they might have one or two levels higher either way. So maybe... I'm trying to figure out what I need to do here. 
63, maybe? Yeah, I think 63 is where I'm going to go. I'm going to get everyone up to level 63. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get everyone up to level 63 before we take on the victory road. Uh, uh, before we take on the Elite Four. That way we are on uh, that way we are on level with Cynthia's uh, Melodic and Lucario, but still three levels underneath her Garchomp. And on level with Lucian's uh, uh, Bronzong. Lucian's Ace. So, uh, and that's before the 15%, uh, that's before our 10% modifier comes in. So, they may still be a few levels higher than us. So, that should be pretty fun. I think 63 is a good play. So, that's what we'll go for. 63. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. On the next one, we will start our ascent into the Fleet 4. But until then, I am Lancer and Joe. Me to let Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.